All right, right now, too many families in San Diego lack access to healthy food. To help with that, a community center is giving out free tiny garden bags so dozens of families can grow their own vegetables. ABC 10 News reporter Nia Watson is in Linda Vista to show us how. And the Bayside Community Center is giving families these grow bags filled with soil, also plants, a watering can, everything you need to grow your own garden. The best part is you don't need a lot of space to do it. It's good, and then I'll put this right on top. Is it okay? The tiny garden bags went to 100 families in Linda Vista and City Heights. It's part of a year-long program that teaches families how to grow their own produce. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher was on hand to help assemble and distribute bags. He says a lot of neighborhoods in San Diego County lack access to grocery stores and fresh produce. So they may have 50 liquor stores around them, but no places to actually go and get fruit and vegetables. Uh, so the ability to grow it yourself uh, is, is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Along with grow bags, each family received tomato and cilantro plants, a drip tray, a tomato cage, a watering can, and a small bag fertilizer. Program manager of Bayside's Environmental Learning Center, Amy Zink, says the bags are portable, perfect for small spaces like an apartment patio or small backyard. Zink and Fletcher say not only do tiny gardens promote environmental sustainability, but they also help families make food and cure cost. And for those who think gardening is time consuming or hard, Zink says it's actually pretty easy. Once you plant it, all you have to do is water it. Really you just have to water it, look after it. In a couple months, you'll have tomatoes. Right away, you'll actually have cilantro. You can start pinching the leaves and eating them right now. The bags also come with a list of instructions. They also provide a QR code to a step-by-step -step video on how to care for and plant the tiny garden. In Linda Vista, Neil Watson, ABC 10 News.